Okay, this is a this is really pretty exciting. I um, I picked up a Teensy 2.0 um, because the Arduino is um, doing the capacitive sensing, so it can't do the electromagnetic field uh, sensing. Um, and for future experiments, I'll need a lot more analog. Um, inputs and the Teensy has like upwards of 11 maybe even 12 and um, which is fantastic so anyway um, let's see so this experiment is 1.8 I believe and um, yeah it's it's kind of it's an, just a little bit of an exciting moment for me obviously um, because it's putting a lot together that I've gone over with the first seven sub experiments um, Essentially, we've got the, this Arduino that's um, doing capacitive sensing, and then its output then goes to um, the first order filter that then is uh, filtering the DC, uh, the variable DC, um, which maxes out at like 4.85, and then it's being amplified by this op amp, uh, which is then being plugged into these 555 timers, which are creating um, an alternating current at about 160 hertz. Uh, which is then being um, output to um, these these um, what I call primary nodes, these antenna essentially. Um, which then the the final analog stage is this EMF detector, which is now being taken care of by my new Teensy 2.0, of which I'm just using one analog pin now, for the moment. Um, and then that's being um, output to processing which is just doing a simple bar graph right now and you know the graphics will change um, but this is just like a basically a meter for the electromagnetic field that's being generated in between uh, that's being superimposed in between these two guys um, just as a side note I, I do get some capacitive sensing of some kind I mean I can ground myself to the Arduino and then not get it um, but when I'm not grounded, I, I do in fact create some capacitive sensing for the EMF, which is not super desirable. There's some other undesirable effects, but aside from this absolute mess right here, um, I apologize for the mess. One of these days I will clean it up, but for the moment, um, yeah, so this is just a lot of spaghetti, but um, I just want to test the parts before I make it, make it uh, designerly, so to speak. Um, another thing that's not super desirable, um, it's actually probably less desirable than the capacitive sensing on the EMF detector is the um, is how jumpy the uh, capacitive sensor is reading um, but but let's take a look at it so anyway here's the capacitive sensor and then I have the voltmeter here reading uh, what's being output by the op amp which in turn is being input into the 555s and then to the primary node emitters etc cetera, etc cetera, and sensed by the EMF detector and then going to processing as I state as I um, mentioned already um, but now with the capacitive sensing um, I can get to about three volts and I'm about two inches away and this is really right right at the edge of when I start to get some good solid strong readings and processing and so far you know it's it's a little jumpy um, I since I can't look at the serial output from what the capacitive sensor is is uh, reading because my one serial line is um, being read by processing. For future experiments, I'll I'll get my laptop and and be you know have separation of concerns where the capacitive sensor I'll be able to monitor that as well. But the point being is is that when I do monitor it, when I have I'm sorry when I have monitored it recently. Um, before I put it all together, it's pretty jumpy too. So as I've talked about before, there, and the documentation talks about quite a bit, there's ways to stabilize the signal with um, capacitors to ground, averaging arrays, etc. So I'll definitely have to explore those because you know it's fine. So around you know three volts, you know, and then I I go up to about four, and then up to five and six. Um, it's still pretty pretty continuous, you know, the density, both the amplitude of the signal and the density of the sampling, in other words, the samples, you know, clearly become, you know, more dense uh, as I get up to about, I don't know, like, I think six, let's take a look, uh, there's seven, 
eight. So then it does something interesting though, and well, undesirable. Um, as I get super high, it does this. It it kind of taps out and then I don't know if it's reading super well, but it's see there it is. It drops and then goes up, drops and then goes up, and it doesn't create an appreciable difference from just being say it at seven. Um, I mean, you can look at the voltage right there. I mean, it's jumping all over the place. Um, that's obviously not ideal, and I will definitely have to stabilize that. And again, that's a function, uh, I believe, that's a result of the capacitive sensor outputting um, a, not a very stable stable representation of, of my, my relationship to the uh, capacitive sensor. And so what that's doing is those variations are being literally amplified um, by the op amp so that the voltage is really jumping all over the place. And, you know, I've talked about this a little bit in some of the past sub experiments, but, you know, I could sort of keep it in the sixes, and then as I get closer, I'm in the sevens, um, and, but then as I get soup, I go into the nines, and then tens and elevens, it's, it's, I mean, it's denser, but again, it starts this odd dropping out and then coming back in. Like, it'll come back in super dense. If I get super close, yeah, it'll come in super dense and then sort of drop out. I don't know. I, I could be making more of this than it is, but I think it really, obviously, I, there's room to improve here. <clears throat> and I look forward to, to doing that. But, you know, just in conclusion, I mean, this is just, this is great. I mean, this is what... Just for a preliminary, you know, I'm going back and forth. That's it's it's great response. I mean, it's not super accurate in terms of exactly, you know, how much, you know, a, a, an exact analog between my orientation and, and the and some precise voltage that's being, you know, put to to create the electromagnetic field. Nevertheless, you know, as I move my hand, um, the system can really keep up. Um, which is is nice, and so again, just to demonstrate, if my hand goes up and down, um, I can I can get some really good real time feedback.